اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to talk about how to assess reliability and convergent validity using Smart PLS CBSCM. Now, previously, we have assessed factor loadings. Now, today, the focus is on reliability and convergent validity as part of measurement model analysis. Construct reliability and validity. Once the factor loadings and model fit are assessed, the next step is to check the reliability and validity of the constructs. Construct Reliability Construct Reliability Assessment allows the evaluation of the extent to which a variable or set of variables are consistent in what they intend to measure. The essence of reliability is actually covered in the word consistency. Now, for example, if the same measure or the same measuring instrument produces the same results with the same individuals on different occasions, then the construct is referred to as reliable. That is, the results are consistent. Construct reliability is usually assessed through two methods. One is composite reliability and the other is Cronbach's alpha. Now, both values are interpreted using the guidelines provided by Nunnally and Bernstein. They suggest 0.70 as a benchmark for modest reliability applicable. Now, once the reliability is assessed, the next step is to assess the construct validity. Construct validity is the measure of how well the item selected for the construct actually measures the construct. Construct validity is established through two forms of validities. One is convergent validity and the other is discriminant validity. Now, what is convergent validity? Convergent validity refers to the degree to which multiple measures, that is the items measuring the construct. For example, I'm measuring job satisfaction. So I've got five, six items in that construct. So convergent validity is the degree to which the multiple measures, let's say job satisfaction is five, as I said earlier, of a construct that are theoretically should be related are in fact actually related. So you are saying theoretically these five items measuring job satisfaction are related with each other. But are they in fact related with each other or not? This is established through convergent validity. Hence, the multiple indicators measuring the same concept through convergent validity are assessed to whether these indicators converge or they come together to measure the underlying construct. Now, convergent validity is assessed using the statistic called average variance extracted, that is AVE. The AVE indicates how much of these indicators that are measuring the underlying construct, their variance can be explained by the latent unobserved variable. Now, an AVE greater than 0 0.50 provides empirical evidence for convergent validity. As the corresponding latent variable, that is, let's say, job satisfaction, it is now explaining more than half of the variance in the indicators. Now, how do we do it in Smart PLS? So, I've got this CBSCM or covariance based structure equation modeling model here, and I've got two variables, CC and OP. Now, CC is measured using six items and OP is measured using five items. These are my latent variables. How do I check the reliability and convergent validity? Now, there is discriminant validity as well that needs to be established in order to, to establish or assess the construct validity, but we will look into that in coming lectures. So how do I check? Just go to calculate, basic CBM algorithm, start, Now, the first thing again in measurement model, let's look at the fits first. So are my fits fine? Well, some of them are fine. This is not good. P-value for this sample size will definitely be significant. Now, this is approaching 0 0.90. So satisfactory. And if you divide the chi-square by degrees of freedom, it is this value. Well, this is approaching uh, a reasonable fit. So it has to be between two to five. So we can say it is appropriate. Now let's look at the loadings. 
well the loadings standardized well they are two of them are bad but should we delete it let's now look at the reliability and validity that is the essence of this lecture or the focus of this lecture rather so cron batch alpha over 0 0.70 yes it is fine unstandardized or standardized let's go for the standardized one then composite reliability is it over 0 0.70 yes AVE is it over 0 0.50 yes so these two constructs here they can be referred to as both reliable and valid in terms of convergent validity now we have to check it for discriminant validity but that will come later in the next session i hope this session would have helped you understand the basic concept of reliability and convergent validity we will also look into how to report the reliability and validity in the coming sessions thank you very much